Hello, I'm Marty Jones and I'm a registered nurse. I'm applying for the UTeach program with EPIC. Now, to give you a little background from a personal standpoint, I have a daughter who's in high school and my little boy is in middle school. So during the pandemic, we joined the EPIC team. And I'll tell you what, the kids flourished. They really excelled with EPIC. I was amazed. You know, it's encouraging to see what we can do with technology. Not even a pandemic could hold them back from learning. Also, with my EPIC experience, from a parent standpoint, I got to see what it will be like on that end of, of, the, of the spectrum. Hopefully, my experience from the parent side of things will help me build relationships with the family members involved in the student's care and help them move on to the best outcome. So the other tie that I have with Epic is my aunt has been a teacher with you guys for a little while, and she really seems to enjoy it. So we were talking one day and she said, have you considered a career change? I mean, you already have the bachelor's degree and you may qualify for this program to get your teaching certificate. And as I thought about it, you know, it seems like a good idea. I will have a schedule that's more similar to my kids. I would like to be able to spend a little more time with them because before I know it, they're going to be graduated out of the home and on their own. So I have, I've worked as a nurse for over 20 years. And what some people may realize or may not realize is that we do a lot of teaching in nursing. The teaching aspect of things won't necessarily be new to me. So in nursing, a lot of what we do is called best practices, and it's very patient specific. We build a care plan around what their specific needs are and what their goals are. So when I was doing my research for you guys with the uh, teaching methods and strategies, I was really encouraged to see that this is really similar to what I'm already doing. I would like to talk to you guys about the um, research that I did and you'd ask me to do on the different teaching strategies. So with data driven, um, I realized that this is collection of maybe test results, things like that. You're going to build a spreadsheet. You're going to isolate the data that's important to produce the best outcome. You know, you're going to find those influences that maybe each unique student has and you know, tweak it, so to speak, just to help create a lesson plan that will prepare them for success. Um, with differentiated instruction, uh, what popped in my head, I didn't really see on the research, but I was telling my aunt, it made me think of the fact that I'm an auditory learner. So you want to utilize the different methods, watch the graphs, you know, that's how he learns. My little girl is more hands-on. So I know that everybody learns a different way. And so you've got to provide the different methods to each student, you know, find out what's best for them, provide that to them and create more of a one-on-one -on -one lesson plan and provide that opportunity to grow individually. Now, then the other method or the personalized learning, um, what I liked about this is it gives the student a voice. You know, I, I like the fact that kids don't need to feel like that they have to fit a certain mold. They can have a voice on, hey, these are my strengths. This is the goals that I have in life. You know, we're there to more guide them and influence them and show them the path that they ultimately choose and that they ultimately take a personal responsibility for. That was good to see and um, learned a lot, you know, with, with your... Um, program, I feel like I'm going to learn something new every day. In closing, I just really hope you guys will strongly consider me for your team and have a blessed